You know, being on the internet, if you want a stable career making content, you need to brand yourself relentlessly. Everything you make needs to be connected to the last so that when viewers like a piece of your content, they can check out something else that you've made. All of this is set up to make sure that individual and corporations can always maximize their profits. And who can really blame them? This can make creators more restricted and can make them stick to one kind of content for a long time, sometimes even to the point where it ruins their career. Creators nowadays are forced to nickel and dime all of their work and get as much exposure as possible to their name off of their content. This is considered common practice on and offline now. But there's one guy that managed to bypass all of that just because of the quality of his work. Today, we'll take a look at some of the best the internet has to offer and the creator Neil Ciceriga, a guy that you may or may not have heard of if you've been around online for a while or just know the classics. This has caused him to have one of the weirdest followings online, with way more people being big fans of some of the stuff he's done more than people that know him. But I think the guy behind the madness is worth taking a look at. So let's check out the many characters, songs, and videos of Neil Ciceriga. <laughs> During the early 2000s, Neil would work on some different, smaller videos called Animutations, which were kind of like the YouTube poops that videos like these would go on to inspire. Neil had a small and humble following while making these videos, but come 2005, and Neil would get his first big hit online. City like a big playground when suddenly a bad man burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a bad grenade. Neil's first big breakthrough was a music video he made in collaboration with Alt F4 titled The Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, which is pretty widely referred to as just the ultimate showdown. It was uploaded onto Newgrounds in 2005, which was a pretty big site for music and animation in the 2000s, and is still used for some things today. The ultimate showdown was front paged on the website, and it would become a massive hit, gaining a really big amount of views for the time. Now it stands at 13 million. The video is later taken from Newgrounds and uploaded to YouTube, where Neil got a new audience this time with less people tying the work down to him, since there were no direct connections between the artist and the art, except for in the end credits. The Ultimate Showdown came out in the midst of a lot of videos that aimed to highlight some crazy fight between a bunch of people, characters, or most commonly just stick figures. Neil Ciceriga's contribution to these kind of videos was his music. Neil would release music to Newgrounds under the name Lemon Demon, which may be gimmicky, the gimmick being that it's weird to say, you know? Lemon Demon, Lemon Demon, Lemon Demon, but he's chosen to keep it even to this day. When this song came out on Newgrounds, it gave a lot of recognition to the Lemon Demon name. Neil's other pseudonym was Trapezoid, and when this song came out on Newgrounds, it gave a lot of recognition to both of those. Neil was mildly popular before, with his releases like Clown Skippy in 2003 and Damn Skippy earlier in the year, but this song would bring him success like he'd never seen before, and people still enjoy the song to this day. This is the ultimate show. This next one, I'm sure the majority of you have heard of. It was something a lot of people my age and a bit older grew up with. This series of videos has managed to be one of the most loved on YouTube, even by the people that don't know a single thing about YouTube. Hmm. What is that mysterious ticking noise? Not over here, not over there. Hmm. Kind of catchy. Snipe, snipe, Savarus snipe, 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 Savarus snipe. Dumbledore! Snipe. Harry snipe. Potter Puppet Pals was a series made by Neil that capitalized off of the popularity of Harry Potter and people's way of reacting with the books. Back in the middle of the 2000s, Harry Potter books were still being released, and most people didn't go through all the books like I did. 
This left a lot of ambiguity surrounding the Harry Potter franchise, and Neil would take advantage of this with videos that had simple premises and told their own story. The series resonated well with Potter fans, as well as people who didn't know a thing about it, with the videos being wacky and unpredictable. The most popular video in the series was called The Mysterious Ticking Noise, which is playing in the background, and I'm sure you've seen at one point or another. It's easily Neil's biggest piece of work online with 192 million views on YouTube, and a lot more outside the website when it was shared on sites like Facebook. This video especially plays on the audience not knowing much about the original series. And at the end of the day, more people watch this video than the people who have read the books, so in a way or two, this video is bigger than the Harry Potter books, as far as how many people have consumed each. The videos followed a progression with a story, and the characters kept the same traits throughout all the videos. Harry was egoistic, Ron was pretty compliant, and most of the characters were innocent, and were a simplified version of their counterparts from the books. Anyway, the audience was able to relate to the characters pretty easily, with them being simple and funny. Eventually, the Harry Potter series ended, and there wasn't that much new content to parody. So the channel just slowed down on making content. Without any final video or massive conclusion, the channel slowly stopped making videos. The last important video that was released on the channel was 10 years after the original viral video, and it was celebrating that it had been so long since then. I found the source of the ticking. It's a 10 year old YouTube video. Oh. 10 years. Makes you feel old, doesn't it Snape? Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy seeing yourself sort of manipulated and turned into a meme online? Uh, if that's the extent of the manipulation, I enjoy it. Yeah. Buzz by Neutral Milk Motel, my favorite band. Um, right next to Milk Bar Lads. Um, check them out. No, uh, they're they're pretty good. You, you became a, a hit a few years ago with something called Brody Quest. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do with this. But let's show the people. Brody Quest was a video that Neil made in 2010 where the famous actor Adrian Brody starts going around various places, ends up in space, and then consumes the entire world, and makes everything have a Brody face. Hence the name Brody Quest. The video would go on to be widely circulated and shared. The video was so loved by fans of Neil that people would make countless remixed versions of it, including Slam Quest. Snoop Quest. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like D Quest. And one that turns Brody Quest into Neil Quest by Just Jargon. As for the remixes that would come out around the release of this video, they may have influenced some of the music that wouldn't be released by Lemon Demon, but the main man himself. Under his own name, Neil Ciceriga would release music unlike most of what's out there. So what he would do is he would take a song and then remix it with another song or two, or just add some effects. And then after a few alterations, listening to the song becomes a completely different experience. This is actually my favorite of his music. I enjoy it more than the Lemon Demon stuff. These songs sit well with meme bros and music nerds alike, since Neil already knows what he's doing musically, and he has a good sense of humor. And me being both, I enjoy it quite a lot. Neil would start out releasing an album in 2014 called Mouth Sounds, an album built up of Smash Mouth-like mashups. Then he followed this up with an album called Mouth Silence, which upon first inspection didn't have any references directly to Smash Mouth, but was later found to have hidden messages relating to them by the internet heroes over on 4chan's music board. Neil's most recent album, Mouth Moods, even landed as a 9 out of 10 from Anthony Fantano, being among the exclusive group of joke albums that Anthony actually likes.
I love this record. I think in time I'm going to warm up to it even more because there's just so much good material on here, and I am blown away by Neil's fantastic effort on this thing. Uh, as much of a joke, or as meany, or as silly, or as absurd this album may seem, uh, there's an incredible amount of effort and detail going into this to make this album as entertaining as it is. Well, I say that they're joke albums, but unlike most music that you would put into that category, it has a lot of replay value. You'll find something new or develop a new appreciation for a song. It's an effect that isn't shared that much with memes, but is shared with more serious music. And I think that's because the kind of music Neil makes is sort of like a completely original thing. People already sample stuff in music. It's just, in this case, the whole song is sampling. Unfortunately, with the current laws surrounding copyright, this kind of remixing isn't very profitable. But there is an audience for it. And I think, at the end of the day, the art matters more than the money it generates. These albums are some of the last big pieces that would come from Neil Cicerica. And going into the future, I think we'll collectively appreciate them more and more. And hopefully we'll get more like these from Neil and other artists. Neil's latest work has been put out through Lemon Demon, and his channel with his own name. And I know this video is called The Entire History of Neil Ciceriga, but you'll have to forgive me that I didn't want to make a five hour long video on Neil. This video goes over his story and major events, but I couldn't possibly cover all of his individual creations. There's a lot of them, since he's been in it since the 2000s. But for some extras, there's Mouth? GameCube controller. <laughs> Word disassociation. <laughs> and a ton more Lemon Demon songs and albums. But I'll leave you here to explore Neil's discography. And I'm sure no matter what you like in particular, you'll find some value in his stuff. Because throughout his long and interesting career, Neil Ciceriga has proven that there's no art form he can't entertain people with. I don't know what I'm doing with myself anymore. Except for making great YouTube comment content. That's right, guys. Alright, I'm out. Uh, you know, uh, Jeff Magnum. Jeff Magnum. Jeff Magnum. Jeff Magnum.